Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel, and this is part five in our series of understanding shortwave for beginners. So we talked about a few things. We've talked about where signals could be, but we also talked about day and night patterns. But what about how do I know when a broadcast is on the air or in another similar or related question? How do I know I'm, what I'm listening to? actually on the bands well there are a few places you can go and I'll share three websites and I'm sure some of you have others that maybe you like and prefer but the three websites that I'll show you here are in the description below the video they are websites that actually update their schedules quite regularly to have you um, you know understand what is on the air at a certain time and what is uh, maybe what you were, are listening to. So the I'll start with one that is probably easiest to use. It's the one from short-wave.info. And a lot of people like this website because it has a lot of visual aspect to it, including it shows you what uh, target area a signal often will be going to. So this website is a great place if you're listening to shortwave and you're wondering what's on the air at a certain time. Now, you can find frequencies for specific broadcasters. So, for example, here you could say, I want to find the BBC frequencies in English at the time. So, the clock there always is showing you um, what UTC or GMT time we are. That's going to be the next video, by the way, explaining a little bit what that's all about. And you can click Go. This will give you all the frequencies used at this time by the BBC around the world in English and this is going to have um, the full list of frequencies used at the time that you asked. Now shortwave broadcasting because of the day night pattern because of target areas and all of that is doesn't mean that you'll hear all of the frequencies that you see here. You know if you don't hear most of them and your radio is not broken and it's not because propagation is necessarily bad it could simply be that it's not towards you, not your target area, or the frequency used is no good for the time of day you're trying to listen to. So we rarely hear a station on all of its frequencies. We usually hear them on a couple of frequencies in there. So that's one way of doing it. And you can, of course, select a broadcast of a station and know uh, some of their schedules from here. Now, for example, right now I'm listening to a station in English and it's on 15770. What you could do here is just type in the frequency you're tuned to and click the now button and it's going to give you on a map the info of where it is. So here's 15770. It is out of Florida and this is of course Supreme Master TV. It says here via WRMI. So you see it at the end from Okeechobee, Florida. So this tells you what you probably are listening to right now. So that's an easy way to find what you might be listening to on a specific frequency. In the case where the frequency gives you several choices, always use the language for your research. The language heard often helps you identify which station it is. Another website that is similar is shortwave schedule. This one also works like this, so you can enter frequency. And when you enter that frequency, well, it's going to just give you a very simple, uh, okay, this is Supreme Master TV and so on, the power level. And it even can give you the, uh, if you uh, give it, it the uh, correct setting of where you're located, you also have the amount of kilometers that you are from the transmitter site that will be displayed. And so it also below here shows you what, different programs at different times of day that you might be hearing off of radio uh, of this frequency in, in, in a scheduled day. So this is really nice for that also. And the one that I use that I like, I'm a little geeky on lists and I kind of like using these, is EIBI Space. EIBI Space is fun for a specific reason is that when you go here, there are two lists. There's the BC, which is the broadcast. When you click here, it's by time in UTC. 
And this I like because you see all the stations broadcasting a certain time. For example, right now it's 1610 UTC here in Montreal. So I would go down to 16 hours UTC. And from 16 hours UTC, we would look at all the broadcasts that are between 16 and 17 hours UTC. I like this because you see everything that is on the air at a specific time, whatever language and frequency it's using. Sometimes it gives you an idea to try some transmissions. But it is a little more cryptic because a little more difficult to understand. There's a lot of abbreviations and, you know, understanding all of these abbreviations and everything isn't, uh, it takes some time to get used to. So, you know, uh, here, for example, I, one that I hear from time to time is BBC English on 17830. So the abbreviations here would be from 16 to 17 UTC. G is from Great Britain. BBC, this is the station. E is for English. This is CAF, means Central Africa is the target area. 17830 kilohertz is a frequency. Slash ASC, that means from Ascension Islands transmitter site on the South Atlantic Ocean. You don't need to know this right now. i very geeky, and I listen a lot to shortwave and been doing so for a long time. So these have come to, you know, in my, my brain is kind of wired now to understand the a lot of the abbreviations. But there's still a lot of them that I don't understand also that I don't remember. So don't worry. But it's nice to see the different stations and uh, the list of uh, frequencies by, you know, with the times and everything. Uh, I also use this list because it's often one of the most accurate uh, because it's updated very regularly. You see here today we are May 12th. The last update is May 6th and it's updated very, very often. Um, the second list on here is frequency A20. When I click here, now it's every transmission by frequency. And what I do is I use my browser to actually look at what I could be listening to. So same example as I had with shortwave.info uh, and the other websites. I want to know what's on 15770 in English. I simply use the search capability of my browser. So uh, in Windows, Control F. In Macs, uh, it's Command F. And you just type, if you use a um, portable device, there are apps that I'm going to show you in a separate um, video also. And you type the frequency 15770. And of course, it brings me immediately to what's on the air. I told you it was 16 hours UTC. So I'll go into the uh, schedule of what is, you know. Uh, so here it says 14 to 20 is WRMI, Radio Miami International. In this case, it doesn't pinpoint the actual broadcast, which is the uh, Supreme Master TV, but it is from Okeechobee and from WRMI. But that's knowledge that you get over time when you listen a lot. So, you know, it gives you an idea of what could be on the air. And also at the same time, this website also gives you the idea of all the different transmissions that 15770 will have in a 24-hour day, which is also fun to have. So three websites to kind of get acquainted with and uh, that will help you out in your search for what you could listen to and also in your search for um, what you might be hearing on your radio at a certain time in the day. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.